Okay, first we're going to make a smock, a trash bag smock. And you have a regular size trash bag. You know, see it can fit you. And then we're going to hold it. Okay, first we're going to make a smock, a trash bag smock. And you have a regular size trash bag. You know, see it can fit you. And then we're going to hold it in half the long way. And let's see. We're going to make a little cut from this is the the folded side and we're going to make a little cut from here like so like you're making a little U. you're going to cut off this little part let's see if i can get it all right so it should look like like you cut a little u out of it when you open it up okay so fold it back no you don't have to fold it back you can take right here in the middle and make a collar let me see if I can okay let me put it on the ground all right right here in the middle make a cut like this just a little ways down and you see you have your collar here all right and then let's see we hold hold it back and we're gonna make a cut from the top to about uh, what is it about five or six inches down and then that is the cut for the sleeve holes alrighty and you have that and you can slip it over your head another thing that you can do if you want to be truly truly fashionable is you cut the bottom off cut your bottom off here I've had my kids make pockets on theirs and things. But you cut the bottom off and you have a little strip like this now. And that will be your belt. So you can slip it over your head and your head comes out here with the collar part in the front. Let's see if I can slip it on. If it'll stop blowing away. There we go. Flip it on. If your head's not big enough, just cut that little collar part down a little bit more. Just flip it over your head like this. And stick your arms through here. Oh, did I cut this one all the way through? Okay. I don't think I did, but you get the idea. Then you take your little fancy schmancy belt here and you can Cinch your little smock, and voila, you won't get paint on your lovely shirt. All right, ta da! Thank you. Okay, here's some of the things that you'll need you'll need uh, paper towels, um, get, get yourself a, either a pie pan or a styrofoam paper plate, and these are acrylic paints. And a canvas board, like you should have in front of you. A cup, um, various brushes, probably just small, medium, and large, and something to put water in. Um, and the colors that you're going to use, you get all the primary colors out. You're going to put a little bit of red, blue, and yellow, and maybe a little white. Maybe a little white. Thing. Let's see. You can stop right there. We're using acrylic paints because they are water-based and they clean up with water unless you let things dry then it becomes permanent. It's sort of like a plastic type of paint. And we're going to put out some blue. We're going to make our little palette. We'll put some blue. Oh, can't put this out. We'll use a little blue and these are your primary colors. Red and yellow. And we'll take a little bit of, if you have the, uh, we can make a brown, but just in case we can put out a little bit of that deeper brown, like a burnt sienna. This is more like a burnt sienna brown. This is the regular sienna brown. And we'll put out a little bit of white, and that's what we'll use. 
these have to be broken on the top. So I'm going to put, spread them out. I know we talk about cool palettes and dark palettes, but if you separate the uh, red, blue, and yellow, just a little dollop will do. Because you don't want to waste that. And I'm going to put the red right here. Break that open. Should have done that earlier. And then the yellow is going to be way on the other side. Oh man, I forgot to press this. Here we go. Yellow is right over here. And let's see, you're kind of arranging it like a color wheel in a way, but kind of not like a color wheel. So someplace over here for neutrals I am going to put the dark brown and in the middle no I'm not gonna put it in the middle I'm gonna put it over here put the white right there all right and that's it for your palette stop right there now I have some water I'm going to take one of these little paper towels off. Uh, might not need that much. You can make it into like a little wad here. All right. And wet that up real good in your water before you put your paintbrushes in there. And we're making a landscape, but the first thing and the most fun thing we're going to make is the sky. So we're going to kind of dampen this up here. Just dampen it a little bit and get your largest brush that you have the largest brush this is the largest brush I have today I'm gonna use two brushes together and kind of save time and I'm gonna make a little wet this blue up just get a little dab of that on there and across the top the sky is the darkest at the top we we'll might need to use a bit more water up there and then just kind of brush it around a little bit while it's still wet let it go and let's see. Yeah, it's not quite wet enough for me. I just let it get really free with that. Let's get really free. Just kind of splash it in up there. And the sky is always darkest near the top there. Now what we can do with that is just kind of hold it, let it run a little bit. See it's running a little bit. Let it run that way a little bit. Maybe let it run down a little bit. Okay. And you see, you've got a pretty good sky there. Now, if it's running too much, you can take another paper towel. Kind of blot it a little bit. Just a little bit. And now, what we're going to do, see, we have our nice clouds. And you don't want to get into detail. And you don't want to make little puffy, puffy marshmallow looking little clouds. You know those little clouds look like they are on the cartoon. And then I'm taking this paper towel and just kind of blotting it just a little bit. Okay? Now, I'm going to take let's see, what do I want to do next? You have a horizon line someplace. So, I'm going to take right about here and make the horizon line with a little bit of blue. Just a little bit of blue. We could make mountains, but you don't live where there are mountains. You live where there's pretty much flat land. Okay. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that blue some more. And again with my bigger brush. So I'm going to use two because I have a bigger canvas than you. And since I have a bigger canvas, I'm going to use two brushes here. And I am going to do this along this line. And don't make it even because this little tree line does not need to be even. Alrighty. And do it fast, quick, faster than in a hurry. Because if you labor over it too much, you're going to make it look like you labored over it too much. Now I just touched a little bit in the yellow there. Now what you can do, I think that's too yellow. So I'm going to go back. And if you see, get that little oak tree thing out of there. And if you see what's happening, 
All right, and you see what's happening? You sort of have a little tree line there. All right. Are we having fun yet? All right. I'm going to wet a little bit on the top of these because... I think they look a little bit too solid. I want them to look like they're misty way in the background a little bit. All right. And maybe take a little bit more of my blue and run it through here. Run it right through there. Now, a little bit right in here. I'm going to repeat this on the other side. Let's get it a little wet down here with the paper towel. A little bit wet with the paper towel. And let's take some more of that blue. Do the same thing down here. Maybe just a little bit right in here. Just a little bit. And put a little bit of yellow in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this time I want you to kind of streak it just a little bit. Let's let it run just a little bit. Let's take it sideways and sideways and then stop okay. you can blot like the little heavier areas just a little bit now here's what here comes some more fun part um i'm gonna take the blue again i like blue i like blue i'm liking the blue you liking the blue okay i'm gonna make a little crooked line like this and I'm gonna do it again over here. Kind of drawing with the blue just a little bit. But keep a lot of horizontal in there. Because you see what's happening. And then under here, make it a little darker underneath. Make it a little darker there. Make it a little darker there. Okay. And maybe put a few more little streaks in there. Just a few little streaks. A few little streaks. Okay. Now. So you can see what you're coming up with. If it's running just a little bit, I might take a little tiny small brush, not too small. Come back. Through there with some streaks. Okay. Now we're gonna have some more fun with making a little mess. This is not too, too wet. Not too, too wet. And I am going to take some of my blue again because I like blue. Now, first I'm going to take the yellow. Take the yellow first. Yeah, bring it out there just a little bit. Bring it out there. Bring it out there. Okay. You can squeeze your brush out. Put your little fingers on it. Squeeze it. Got to drop. And put a little bit of blue in it all right we have some so we made a kind of a mm, like a like green there so now I'm gonna color some of this a little bit you know what I think we should just start down here putting more of that green down here Put that more of that green down here all right now let's see I'm gonna wet it some more And I'm going to put that, oops, yeah, wet it a little bit more. And if it's not the same kind of green, mix it a little bit more. If it's not the same kind, that is perfectly all right because it's not going to be the same kind of green in real life all over the place. Is it? This is kind of a watery, colory thing that I'm doing here, and that is all right. Because that is one of the things about acrylic paint is that acrylic paint is versatile. You can use it like oils if you work pretty fast. And you can use it like watercolor. I like that. So put a few in your darks. Do that just a little bit. But just down here at the bottom a bit. Alrighty. Now, let it run a little bit turn it upside down just a little bit that helps to make some more grass sideways sideways upside down a little bit let it run a little bit okay you got that so far 
All right, now we can come back with a little more of our green that we're making, and then we can put a few more in there. Okay. It's looking good. And we can do some in the water, just a little bit on the edges of the water. Yay! 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 Okay, now, we need, we have kind of a little lake in there. We have kind of little trees and things in the background. And I want you to come back. Okay. You can hit this with some more blue, because it's starting to run just good but if you put some in there now it's not going to run so much and that is what we want when it not to run so much now this time take a little bit of the brown see that kind of makes it like a gray color and i want you to kind of put that alongside of it alongside the blue doesn't have to be even you can let that run up a little bit. Turned it away from you, didn't it? All right, see what's happening with those trees in the background? If you can't see the trees in the background, just kind of back up from it. Look at it from, okay, watch this. Look, go back, go back, go back. And you have to look at it from a distance sometimes, okay? Now, we have to make a tree. And this is the fun part too. I like to make trees. I like to make trees almost. As I like, as much as I like the color blue. So, trees are not brown, but you are going to use some brown. Because if you look at most trees, the trunks are kind of grayish. So, you got your green already out there that you made. So, mix a little bit of brown with it. And that will give you a sort of a gray. Now, I want you to make a sort of a rectangle. And just kind of paint the rectangle in a little bit. At the bottom of the rectangle, make it kind of come out and make the little trunk things. <sighs> Yay! And then we'll take this. We're going to make a lot of Y's. Can you make the letter Y, boys and girls? Y? Of course you can. We'll take this Y and we'll make a crooked oh, crooked, <laughs> crooked Y. Now, this branch here needs some crooked Y off of it. Make a Y off of that. Make a Y off of that one. Make a Y off of this one. Just keep making Ys. And skip some. Make some more Ys. Make Ys. Make some up here. Huh. All right. Now, you can make some another one over here. Try it again over there. And then we're going to come back. Make your blue and brown mix, mix it up again together again that makes a dark kind of a grayish looking color kind of brownish gray and then we're gonna we're gonna have to come back to this tree because he's still kind of wet he is still kind of wet and he is not going to cooperate a whole lot so make a few darker ones in there and get, and get your smaller brush Oop, that's not a small brush get your tinier brush and you can make a few more but don't get carried away because what you will do is you will you'll make too many and you'll make it you'll work it too hard you work too hard you worry me to death all right, and do the same thing to your tree that you're going to make on that side. Now, we're going to go back to our yellow, which has a little bit of blue in it. Yellow, pull your yellow out, put a little bit of blue in it. We're going to make a light green. And this is an oak tree, so it kind of has like little balls of leaves clumped together. So we're going to make these little balls of leaves, but you're not going to paint it in straight okay keep on doing that make them in different places oh this is this feels wonderful it just oh this is fun and you're saying to yourself ah, but ah, this is not realistic looking not to me well 
once again, you're going to have to back up and see what you're doing. And it's all right. It'll be fine. Just let it kind of run there. Do, do, do. Some of the leaves will come off like that. All right. Now we're going to take a little bit more blue. All righty. A little bit more blue, and so you've got a darker green. Now, now, let's say the sun is coming from this way. So on some of those little balls, you just kind of darken them on one side. Keep going. All right. All right. And you can go back and forth too. You can. Yes, you really can go back and forth. You can make some lighter ones. Go back to some yellow, kind of higher yellow sticking out here. I kind of like dark um, oak trees though. I really do. Almost as much as I like blue. Yes. Is this making sense? Is this making sense to you? Okay. You can also come back, go back. See if your trunk is drying up a little bit. Mix your little blue and your brown. If you run it too low, you can always squeeze a little bit more out. But I wouldn't make it too much. Not too much. Okay. I'm going to... See what's happening with that tree there? It's got shadows from the leaves on it. You can make some darker ones, darker branches in there. You got some lighter ones, so now make some darker ones. You can add some more. Just go back and forth with it. Okay. Go back and forth. And I am going to, ooh, that's too brown. I'm going to um, come around and see how you're doing and make some adjustments and make some not so wood much adjustments. Uh, a good thing to have for is a fan brush like this. Because fan brushes can, let me see how I want to, I might need a little bit more of this blue one here. Fan brushes can help you make your leaves pretty good. Save you a lot of time. But do not try to dot, you're making groups of leaves, you're not making individual leaves, you know what I mean? Okay. Your leaves will come out some more. You just keep going back and forth with it. You can do this thicker. You can do this looser. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. So you just keep on doing it, but don't, you know, like, don't do too much to it because you want it to look, you know, so, you want it to look kind of free, all right, now the one I do in the room, I hope will look better than this one, but you just keep going back and forth a little bit, okay, you just keep going back and forth, all right, and so far, this is what we have, so, you might not be able to see it close up, but, you step back from it, you step back. You step whoo back, okay? And that's what you keep seeing, you keep looking for. Now you can also go back and forth. Oh, let's see. Take some of this dark green down here because your your um your lovely tree here is gonna make shadows, right? So it's not gonna be solid. All right, and you can just keep going back and forth. You can come back down here too. Let's see the, your, by the time you get back to these, this grass down here, it's starting to dry up on you so you can put some more defined grass in there. All right, put some more little things with the little, okay. And you can do some more. You can make more brilliant green for the, uh, grass down here. Alrighty. And don't make your grass, you notice I'm not making them all go like doot 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 like you did in kindergarten. You don't, this grass doesn't grow like that. It grows up but it's like 
in all different directions going up, right? So that's how we want to make our graph. We want to make our graph going in different directions. Then you can come back, put some yellow, make your graphs all different kinds of shades of green. Don't overwork it too much, which is what it looks like I'm about to do. And I'm going to go back to the water a little bit and maybe make a little. This is okay. You just keep going back and forth. Okay. This is going to dry some more. Then you'll be able to dot some more leaves in there good. Wow. Here's what I like is when you, you can use your paint a little bit thicker as you go. Just make it some more green. And then you can kind of, that's still not dry enough. Okay. But it's going to do a little bit more. See what's happening to my tree. Right. And it takes just a little bit of practice and just a little bit of going back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Let's go back and forth because this is drying a little bit more. It's not going to rub up like uh, watercolor does. Okay. And then you can, like I said, you can put your other tree on this side. Alrighty. Okay. And you just keep going back and forth and back and forth. And I'll be coming around to see and watch you go back and forth and back and forth. And sometimes I might even take my paintbrush and mess you up. <laughs> and anyway, this is your start of your wonderful little landscape. Do you like what you did? I think you did a pretty good job, don't you? You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you.